everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick speed build of the park that's just beyond the lookout spot. The overall theme, there is none. It really just doing what my heart desires at this point. Um, so I hope you like it. Um, so yeah, come along with me on this adventure. If you haven't already, please feel free to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get on with this. Where I started right around here by the waterfall, I really didn't have any idea of what I was going to put in the park. I just know that I wanted small, tiny little areas that were just dedicated to one thing. So flowers in one area, a little rest spot in the other. Where I put the, uh, the mantis model, I think I, I had a little microscope and a little book and I was just going to put that there as kind of like a little study area um, and putting the lace uh, pattern underneath it just gave it more of kind of an exquisite vibe and um, so a majority of the beginning of this is me laying down the pathing and I can tell you right now that this is the most infuriating process for me. I eventually in the future and or maybe just might trade it out, trade out the dirt path that I have now for the green path. So it looks a little bit more natural and it doesn't look so, um, I guess, obvious. I really like the classic uh, dirt uh, circular patterns so I did scatter those if you know in random spots throughout the park and then I made another little rest spot here um, and really uh, during this entire process I'm not organized I kind of was really going with the flow of everything doing what felt right what came to mind um, I know that for a majority of the flowers, I just wanted yellow, white, and green. I really didn't care what type of flower, I just wanted it to feel somewhat natural but, but colorful, so I just put a plethora of flowers everywhere, as m much as I could get away with. And um, I did put a little fishing spot, I thought it would be really cute with the tackle box and then the fishing rod. Um, and later on you'll see how that tiny spot just kind of comes together sitting right next to the bridge I thought was a cute touch. I did have to edit the campsite spot just a little bit, um, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more of a flow transition from the park into the campsite, so it, I didn't work on it too hard, or too much I, I should say. Um, I did also put some fencing separating what is soon to be a tiny little plaza to the left of the park and just kind of separating it so that it feels more comfortable because once the plaza is there it's going to feel a little busy or at least a little bit more uh, formal I guess. At this point, I also stopped caring. <laughs> I, I genuinely, I stopped caring about any type of theme that stopped a long time ago. But in this park build, I was like, I'm going to do what I want to do and what feels fun to me because honestly, my whole life, I've never been good at staying and sticking to one theme in a lot of aspects of my life so this park is chaotic and it in the best way possible screams my aesthetic i guess so bear with me it's it's a lot but it was a lot of fun to make <laughs> Thank you. 
I again had issues with placing the patterns on the ground. I really suck at it. I'm sorry, forgive me. <laughs> I have no patience to try and figure out the algorithm of how it's laid down, so I just kind of do it. I place it down and deal with it. Also, that wedding arch isn't there in the final product. I did end up removing it. I It's pretty, it just didn't go with what I wanted for the entrance of the park. I may put something there in place of it. Um, as I was gathering the flowers, I wanted to tell you that a part of my inspiration for this park too came from a park, a little side, it's not very big, but it's a tiny little drive off park in Hawaii on the island of Maui that had a bunch of stray cats and they were all extremely friendly and adorable, but it was probably the most peaceful park I've ever seen. It was so tiny, but surrounded by trees and you just drive up into the parking lot and you're greeted with this giant cliffside of trees and a small meadow and it was stunning. I'll see if I can post a picture in here. They were so sweet and docile for the most part, so it it really reminded me of that place. So that's a majority of where I got the inspiration from. In the little fishing spot, I had to put an ocarina there. It just felt right. I did stick with the white wood um, accents as well to keep it kind of light and um, and flowy, I should say. I didn't want the ground to be bare under the table. So I, I, in my opinion, I feel like I did overuse the little circle dirt paths, but you know what? They're cute and I like them. So that's that. that I placed a lot of the custom um, patterns on the ground that were the leaves and the weeds and the flowers. I didn't want any of the green to be bare. I really dislike it when the weeds start to grow and then it all looks too uniform. The weeds all grow to that maximum size and I didn't want any part of that. So I did make it a little chaotic by putting all of the patterns on the floor. Um, you could very well easily put mushrooms in those places, or flowers, um, or other tiny little trinkets that would prevent the weeds from growing. But at the end result, it really didn't look as chaotic as it felt when I was laying them down. Because in real time, laying all of those patterns down probably took me... It, it easily an hour 
and then all I started doing here was cleaning up the weeds in the background and placing some flowers. It's very natural up there. I honestly, I, I didn't put anything else other than flowers, a few uh, tiny uh, saplings and, and other um, greenery just to keep it more natural. But again, placing those patterns on the ground took a long time. Well, that was pretty much it for this build. Uh, pretty quick and very simple. But I hope you really enjoyed it. Blue Bear sure did. She was running around all over the place while I was trying to get really nice shots of the park. So enjoy. Thanks for sticking around if you've made it this far in the video. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good evening, night, morning, afternoon, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.